right, guys. It's here. I got my box. Yes, so sir. I got the box. We'll see it, man. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? My Christmas gift. Well, today. Yes, sir. We're removing something. It's going to get a little loud, man. We are removing a <clears throat> Yikes. horrible, horrible, huge resonator out of the exhaust and going to an H pipe. We are going to leave the stock mufflers. Yep. For now. For now, yeah. Like I said, the guy that works with you, he mm -hmm. called my bluff. Yep. Um, the car was purchased originally on the attempt to not do anything to it, but... Yeah, uh, you changed your mind real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, man, I got to do something to it. Yeah. You had that itch. Yeah. 460 horsepower is great. And off to the flywheel. Yeah. Yeah. I want 500 to the rear wheels. Yeah, buddy. Daily driver. Yeah. For about six months. <laughs> and then something else. Yeah. And then something else. And then something else. Cycle continues. Yeah. My rule of thumb on performance is you it's get like to. A drug. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's a, a drug, drug, man. Drug. Yep. Remy's off camera. He's over here freezing to death. It... Next to the heater. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell, Clifford, he is a mess. Yeah. The reason why he's a mess, every time we go to wash him, it rains mm -hmm. or it snows. Yep. If y'all didn't see the Instagram pictures, go back and look. We had a white Christmas, so. This thing was covered. Yeah, it was covered in the snow because me and my wife were getting ready to go on a trip, so we had Smurfette in, in the garage, mm -hmm. loading it up as a mini blizzard rolled through. Yeah, yeah for Cookville, it. yeah. You know, gotta love upper upper Cumberland Plateau. Mm-hmm. But man, I'm kinda stoked. You ready to get busy? Yeah man, let's get busy. Real quick summary, real fast. The exhaust on stuff is easy to drop on these cars. Ford when they design these. Yeah, we'll show it. Yeah, it's we'll, pretty we'll easy, man. Show it. It's not as bad as what Remy's is, I mean, they, they did a really good job on Remy's, too, um, as far as in sections. You're going to replace everything in sections on the S197. But everything's welded together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The S550? Nope. One, two, three, four, four, six, six bolts and two hangers, and the exhaust is out. So, you ready to do this? Yes, sir. You ready to do this? Let's yes, get sir. to it. I know I am. I've been waiting too long. A week of vacation, I was ready for it to be done so I could come home and do this. So, let's, uh, you ready? Yeah, man. Let's get this done. Let's, let's get it. Let's go. All right, guys. What we got here is two 13 millimeter bolts to hold these hangers on. Now, there's t uh, four 15 millimeters um, Band exhaust clamps up front. We'll show you those in a minute when we put the exhaust back in. But literally, lift up, pull back. This exhaust is loose, except for these hangers right here. One here, and one over there. On the other side. And you literally you jiggle it loose. I may pull back and pull the exhaust out from the front yep and then drop it so yep so we will be right back yep. so once we get this thing completely out of here i'm going to show you guys something on those clamps up in the front there's two little clips two little nipples on the kind of down pipe side of it yeah or the cat pipe that kind of clips onto the middle muffler yeah so kind of gives it a little bit more structural support so exactly. it doesn't dangle or bend or anything flex. Right. But this is what we're playing with. Sir. We're going to keep these stock mufflers. For now. For now. For now, of course. Um, this is just a temporary thing. Yeah, buddy. Um, Remy's girlfriend, Sam, she, they, they put an X, or H pipe on, on hers and it was sounded really good. It's like, hell, why not? Yeah. I was going to pay somebody to do this, but... 
I said, you know what? A lot of people pay to have stuff done when you can do it yourself. Yes, sir. Hey, Rick, grab the other side of that because I actually have a better idea. <coughs> We're going to lift up and pull out because the front side don't matter. True. That's what we're working with. That is going to be gone. So, those are always garbage. Yes, sir. This is what I was talking about. Right here is a little clamp. I said you have to bend upward. Yep. To get it out. Which grabs, yeah. Yeah. But, besides that, it's pretty straightforward. Now, Time to get this one off, measure it out, cut it back here, and then put in the suitcase. Will each be done. Yes, sir. And bye bye. Finally, thank God. All right. Uh, we'll show you us cutting it here in a minute. We'll be back. We'll show you how to measure it and everything too. Um, we just got a couple of things to fix here real quick. We'll be back. All right, guys. Real quick. Before we get to cutting, Remy came up with a good idea of getting this. A straight perfect, edge. Yeah, a straight. Getting a straight edge on it. That way we can measure up these ends with this end. So we can get the proper cut back line here. for back here. Right. So to fit up proper. And then also, when you do an H pipe or even an X pipe, the passenger side has a more, a little bit more intense bend. Yeah. You can tell from the, the top down. Yeah. And you can actually see it here. This is more straight. And this one cuts off more to the passenger side of the car. Yeah, you can tell right here. The top down. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut right in here. And on this side, as you can see. Yep. And that will literally made up to this right here, which will be clamped on. Yep. Correct, yep. Yep. So true. And then we'll have an H-pipe instead of a old briefcase. Yeah, because this thing... It restricts airflow quite a bit. It does, and this is going to give it 20% increase in airflow. Yep, proven. And, and less weight. Yep, yep. Less and weight. a little bit less weight. And a deeper sound, too. So, all in all, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's going to be better for the car. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Let's do it. <clears throat> so, all right, guys. So... We are just brainstorming here. Yeah, just checking out the little briefcase. Yeah. You know, they, they talk about a 20% increase in the airflow running on an H-pipe. Now, we do know for a fact, off of Sam's car, that it does make it sound better, but when you look inside yeah. here, I don't know if you're going to really see too much in there. Yeah, you see all that mesh in there? Get off my legs. You can see down the side there. Yeah, you can see it. Honestly... <clears throat> This is a straight through with the baffles inside it. And I'm curious how this really, I mean. Because it, I mean, I'm sure it pulls air out of like a, you know, it pulls yeah. like 20%. That's a lot. You know. I'm sure it's probably like 20% on the top side. If you guys hmm. want to see us cut this open, I'll hold on to this for a little bit because oh, we yeah, do definitely. need to make a, a scrap yard run. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you want to see us cut this open, definitely will. Next video on what's inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's 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 certain things we want to provide to you guys, like oil filters. That's one we want to do. Yep. Um, there's a lot of videos out there of people cutting oil filters open and showing you the differences of them. Mm -hmm. But if you go to, when, when you're in school and you write a comparison, and a comparison and contrast paper, like you're comparing multiple things to each other, that's has to be on an equal playing field. All these guys, they don't do that. They use different size oil filters. So that's one video we want to bring to you. But if y'all want to see us cut this open and see what's really inside. Yeah. What causes that 20% loss of airflow? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's, it's not connected between the two that we know of. That's why I'm like, 
curious of like what's yeah, what's going on in there. You know, we should cut it straight down the middle here and try to open fold it, up, yeah, fold even, it out. Or even maybe cut the seam, the weld. Yeah, cut the seam off on both sides, and then maybe cut through here. E either way, if you guys want to see us cut this thing open? Let us know. Comment down below. Smash the like button. We'll cut this thing open. Yes, sir. Let's get the rest of this exhaust put together, man. Yeah, yeah cause H pipe's in. Mm hmm It's somewhat bolted up. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get the seat back in there. Those clamps. I mean, I've watched a ton of videos, of course, on how to do this from CJ Pony Parts um, before I wanted to bring it to y'all. And they're slid in a whole lot easier. Their, their clamps were looser than mine. I don't know why. Mm hmm or maybe it's just where it's still brand new. Got tight clamps, man. Uh, we got tight yeah. clamps, man. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know, but we're about to put the right side muffler in. The driver's side. We had to flip it over to finish the cutting. Yeah, finish the cutting. And that die grinder with the metal cutting wheel, what, less than five minutes, we're through on both sides, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. It's super easy and quick. This this metal cuts so so much easier. Make sure and do that. Wear safety glasses, safety glasses yes. for sure. Yeah, and if you have a face shield, do that too. Yeah, <laughs> face, face shield is a whole lot better. Um, obviously, you guys seen us cutting the tie the not tie rod in um, the sway bar link off on the camera. We did the struts on. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I was wearing my safety glasses in and. Really, I needed a face shield being in such a small compartment. Yep. Being out here and open, it was it wasn't. It wasn't open. too bad, yeah. No. <clears throat> All right, man. Let's get this get this stuff put Ooh. together so we can take her for a ride. Oh yeah. Take Clifford the rocket for a ride. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Clifford the big red dog. All red. All red. <laughs> All, red. <laughs> All right, guys. Here is the installed H pipe. Yeah. Guys, Jacob just showed you the picture, or the vi picture, the video. Yeah. H-pipe is installed. Remy is sliding into the car real carefully right now. We're about to cold start this with the H-pipe. We're leaving it in the air just to check for any kind of exhaust leaks. Yep. You, I mean, it's a $40,000 car. The last thing you want is to sound like crap. So, yeah. Remy. You want to hit it? start well, I mean, it's two o'clock yep. 2 30 in the morning we're closing out this video we're gonna close out another one that you previously seen yeah you'll see before this one yeah <laughs> so all in all man i mean h pipe worth it yeah 100%. for how yeah 100 and what 20 bucks 120 bucks right now it's on sale because yep. of the new year yep. for like $97. I mean, yeah, and then if, uh, I mean, what, wrenches? Yeah, I mean, 15 millimeters socket. 14 or 13. 13, 13 15 millimeter socket. Hangers. Um, and then, what else? Angle. Yeah, angle, angle, angle grinder. grinder. Some type of cutter that'll cut through yeah. some aluminum. Can I tell you what? I wish I had that back when I had my focus and I put the exhaust on it. 
Yeah. Because they, they put the exhaust on first and then the subframe after. Oh, geez. And the exhaust is all one piece on that car, so you had to cut it. Oh, man. At the subframe to get the back part off. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but. Yeah. Oh. And some simple things, and now it sounds like a completely different car. It, it sounds does. super mean. The rev match is ridiculous. Yeah, um, like just like <laughs> going from like third to second and it revving up to like three grand is insane. Blast it. I mean, uh, but you, I, I made the comment a while ago, you do one part, you're happy, but you're never satisfied. Nope. I, mean, I always have that hunger for yeah. more. Uh. So yeah, in about six months, playing for some uh, some more exhaust. Clifford, yeah, some more exhaust stuff. <laughs> uh, in the um, meantime, we'll be working on the Focus, maybe you know the Camry, locks, yeah, the yeah. Goldilocks over there. We got we got plenty of work to do on yep. our own stuff, and I mean Clifford, we got a mm -hmm. well Barney, yeah Barney. We got a charged battery on Barney. We really need to. Uh, I really want to put an X pipe or H pipe on that. We need, yeah, we need to do some exhaust stuff. Yeah, that'd be maybe ridiculous. On that do car. some more intake mods. Good possibility. Thinking about keeping that four six. Yeah. For a little bit until we blow it up, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Might as well. Yeah, we definitely will. I mean, and then there may be a special project come in. We, yeah, we later may, on. We may definitely pick up and. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, do, we definitely got plenty of work ahead of us. Yes, we do. So. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, That's a wolf. <laughs> coyote. It's a coyote running it's around. Coyote. <laughs> now, that is a link running around. That was. Is that, yeah, that's Link. That's mm -hmm. your dog. <laughs> but, right. guys, once again, like. Subscribe, share, hit us up on Instagram, it'll be down below. Mm -hmm. Hit us up on Facebook as well, Aftermath Garage YouTube channel. We're there. Yep. Um, any suggestions, any comments, leave them. And I will say this, any any negative comments, we're, we'll just cut the comments off. No, come at us, that's what I say. Give us your best shot. Because, <laughs> hey, I'll take some constructive criticism. Yeah. That's fine true. with me. I mean, some of, it, some of it is good. Some of it's just like really. Yeah, trolling. Yeah. And whatever, dude. for quite a long time. So. But other than that, guys, never forget, dream big. Yes, sir.